MTP 1192 looks like a chronograph, although it is only related to date day. MTP 1192, the smallest man timepiece. MTP 1192, such a bright display. Stay tuned to see what this watch can do. Before starting uh, this uh, review of this watch, mm, yeah, what can we say? This watch has been worn for several years. The battery has been replaced twice at least. The strap, you can see that uh, it is not the original one, but still the watch works, hopefully, as we will see how to replace the battery further on. In regards to the dimensions, we can see here that we have a case diameter of yeah, 37 millimeters. If we discussed about the height of this watch is 8 millimeters, so it's pretty thin watch and the lug to lug will bring us 34 millimeters lug to lug. So the dimensions are pretty small for a man timepiece, as I was saying. If we will discuss a little about this display, we can see that it is very bright. So uh, it is not white, it is somehow gray. So the dial is somehow gray. The hands are having some loom. It is not that uh, efficient in the dark, but I would assume that it makes its job. Uh, this watch at the 3 o'clock position, it has the Casio logo, it is quartz movement and water resistant, and it has three dials. One dial, so the one from 9 o'clock, it's responsible for showing you the weekday, the one from 12 o'clock, it's responsible for the date, and the 6 o'clock uh, display, it's responsible for showing you whatever it is, if it is a.m. or p.m., so it goes from 1 to 24 hour. In order to adjust the watch, it's simple. If you pull the crown one time, you you adjust the date and two times you adjust the hours and minutes. In order to open the back case, this watch, I have brought this special tool. This um, back case is secured by force, so you have to press it in order to close it. Uh, my tool, it seems that it is not that thin, so it will not No, I cannot open it with this one. A thin screwdriver would solve the issue or the blade of a knife. Yes, I have managed to pop out this back case with the help of a knife. We can see here that uh, the rubber seal is present on the back case. If we take a look on this movement, we see that it uses an SR621 SW battery and the movement is written here that it has zero jewels and the type of movement would be, I definitely hope that on the camera will be visible because with my naked eye I cannot see what is written. I can see that it is a Miota movement, but more I cannot see with my naked eye. It's a Miota movement. Let's take down the battery. A needle would be perfect, but I will use this screw. So we have here a small gap in which I will just insert the screwdriver and pop out the battery. If we trust the Google, the SR621 could use an LR620 battery type or the LR621 from GP. Let's see if it fits. Make sure that here there's a small shoulder that secures the battery. Make sure you put the battery first under the shoulder and then press it from this side. So the shoulder is on top and you, you put the battery under the shoulder and then press from the button until it clicks. So my battery LR621 
or LR620 would fit perfectly and if we turn around the watch we can see that this Casio works perfectly. I'm not sure I guess uh, it has been um, drained from the battery or around more than half a year so one year could be reasonable if i say this good now this miota movement have the battery replaced let's close the back case for sure we need to make sure that the casio logo is oriented towards 12 o'clock position and we can see that uh, it has here a small dent which has to be on top of the crown and let's press it until it clicks. If you do not have sufficient force to close it, make sure you put it on a surface that you do not break the glass and gently press it with, um, with some plastic case, a power bank or something like this. This is what I have done in the past. So I will just use this uh, paper so that I can press with this tool. So I've managed to close it. I've just put the watch into the corner of the table so that the table would not bend as I would press. Make sure you do not uh, damage the display. So you put something soft under the display. And also, if you do not want to scratch the back case, you put again something soft and then you, you can uh, press it. Let's discuss a little about this strap. So as I remember that this watch came with a black strap, for sure it had the Casio logo. This one, it is a 18 millimeter strap and the lugs are for sure 18 millimeters. A black strap, which is made of um, leather. Nothing to say about this strap, except that yeah, in time it gets worn. I'm so curious what other straps would fit this type of watch. If we go to the back case, we see the Casio logo, the movement name, which is 1794, the model number, MTP 1192, stainless steel back, water resistant, so it does not mention anywhere how many meters you can uh, dive in under the water, but it's a job of movement and it is cased in China. If it is not mentioning how deep you can go into the water, I would say that this watch uh, is capable of, um, let's say, um, small showers or uh, or at least uh, swimming in the pool. Nevertheless, I'm sure you will not make uh, diving with this watch. We have replaced the battery. We have uh, presented a little this, uh, this watch. The case is made of... Uh, some kind of uh, metal is definitely not plastic and yes we have a lot of scratches uh, the glass itself does not look it is scratched but does not look like it is and uh, yet the visibility or the readiness of the display is very very good so yeah you can you can see what's the time now let's see how it fits on the wrist this would be the watch. Under the camera, I would say that it looks very good. I feel it a little light. I feel that the strap is kind of thin and uh, yeah, the, the, the case for the watch is good. But what spoils it is the width of this uh, strap. I would prefer like a 20 millimeter strap rather than an 80 millimeter one. So I would prefer another type, but I'm not sure what type to use. So I would uh, expect your comments or your opinion in the comment section. In regards to the watch, yeah, the, the display is so bright, it's so beautiful, it's you... I'm not sure, it feels okay. In the end, you can enjoy this watch for sure. Okay, now, thank you for your attention and uh, yeah, see you next week.